Hi, this is Josh here, and I'll be explaining hash time lock contracts, as well as do a demo of XSGD Bridge. Feel free to skip the explanation. Let's talk about the motivation. Suppose Alice and Bob want to perform a cross-chain swap, but they do not trust each other. Escrows may be unreliable, so what can we do about it? So here's the problem. Suppose Alice sends money to Bob directly. Bob could just run away. This is not good. Instead, Alice could send money to a vault and lock it with a password. This password is represented by a hash lock on the blockchain. The hash lock is just a hash function of the secret passcode. When Bob sees Alice locking her funds onto the vault, he knows Alice hash lock. So he can create another vault with Alice hash lock and a shorter time lock. So if Alice wanted to unlock the funds, Alice needs to input the passcode, which will now be revealed to Bob. And because of the time lock, Alice cannot run away. As expected, Alice unlocks Bob vault and Bob unlocks Alice vault and the swap has just happened. Suppose if both parties do not withdraw from each other vaults, the funds would then be refunded after the time lock. And this completes the hash time lock contract. I'll move on to a demo of XSGD Bridge, which utilizes this concept. We start with a predefined agreement. This can be done on something like Telegram. And we create the contract. Here we copy the passcode and the hash lock for later use. We wait for the transaction to mine, and once that's done, we can collect the contract ID. Now the other party observes the hash lock and creates a new contract on Zill chain. We have obtained the contract ID and we can send it to the other party. Now with the contract on Zillica, the other party can withdraw by putting in the passcode, which will then be revealed to the guy who put funds on Zilliqa chain. Likewise, with the passcode known, the other guy can also withdraw from Ethereum chain. And with that, we got the fund transferred. 